Jonathan Majors found guilty of assault and harassment. This is by CNN. This came out yesterday evening. Um, didn't get a chance to do the video yesterday evening, but yeah, guilty. Um, I'm going to be searching YouTube to see if I find a couple of lawyers explaining this because I'm a little bit confused about the harassment thing, but I'm, maybe I just need to read up a little bit more. It's Tuesday morning, my darlings. Good morning. My name is Janice. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, share this out. Help me to grow this channel. I want to thank you for your love and your support and welcome to all of our new cousins, preventors, and the remnant. Thank you for those of you who have been picking up the books on Amazon. They are all on sale for Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really do appreciate and love you. And hopefully you are in the Christmas spirit. I know Christmas is hard for a lot of people. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So seeing as the jury finds Jonathan Majors a guilty of assault and, and harassment, um, a New York jury on Monday filed actor Jonathan Majors guilty of assault and harassment of his former girlfriend during a domestic dispute. Now, from what I am hearing, I don't know how his jury approved, his lawyer approved this jury, six, six jury, five white, one black. That is not a jury of his peers. I, I, fire your lawyer. Grant it. Based on those text messages, he's an abuser. But I'm kind of confused about, is the trial about their abusive relationship or is the trial about what happened in the van? From my understanding, the trial is about what took place in the van and after the van. And based on what I saw, she was the abuser and he was the victim. Okay? That's why I'm kind of confused about this verdict. Um, shout out to the person who said that in my comment. Majors, a rising star who has appeared in Disney Marvel franchise in Creed 3, was convicted on one, one account of reckless assault in the third degree and a non-criminal charge of harassment as a violation. Okay. Uh, he was acquitted on another assault charge and one account of aggravated assault. Majors, who was present in court on Monday, had a straight face while the verdict was being read. He left the courthouse without commenting to members of the media. In a statement to CNN on Monday uh, afternoon, uh, prior charity, an attorney for Majors said he still has faith in the process and looks forward to fully clearing his name. Shortly after news of the verdict, a source with knowledge of the matter told CNN that Marvel Studios would not be moving forward on any future projects with Majors, uh, who was set to star as Vil Villainous Kang, K-A-N-G, in the upcoming adventures, the Kang Dynasty, K-A-N-G, okay, not K-I-N-G. A representative from Marvel declined to comment when uh, reached out by CNN. The jury in the case deliberated for about four and a half hours total before reaching um, reaching a verdict. I'm 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 really I'm really confused. Okay, I'm I'm confused. That's why I need to talk to a lawyer. See, this is why I need to. I should have went to law school. <laughs> Um, but thank God he was acquitted on some charges. So hopefully he don't have to go to chase. He don't, uh, he doesn't have to, okay, my computer's acting up. He doesn't have to go to jail in stage. Okay. Yeah, it was acting up a little bit. Sorry, guys. Hopefully he don't have to go to jail. Okay. It's still acting up. But anyways, let me read on. Uh, the trial, which began December 4th, stems from a March domestic dispute involving Majors and his former girlfriend, Grisha Bar Majors, had pleaded not guilty to misdemeanor charges, misdemeanor charge of assault and aggravated harassment. During a closing argument last week, the prosecutors alleged Majors didn't hesitate to use physical violence against Jabbar when he grabbed Jabbar's right hand, twisted her arm behind her back, then struck a blow to her head. Majors' attorney... Uh, reiterated his innocence during her closing argument, calling the accusa accusation against him fake and alleged that Jabbar was the aggressor in their argument. Majors did not testify during the trial. I think that's a good move 
because the, the prosecutor would have tore him to shreds. Majors did not testify during the trial, but he was present in New York City courtroom for the duration of the proceedings. According to the New York Times, Jabbar testified December 5th that Majors assaulted her in the back seat of a car during the March dispute, which prosecutors said happened after Jabari saw a romantic text on his phone for someone named Cleopatra. We are grateful to see justice serve today's guilty verdict as Jabari testified publicly and truthfully, even though relieving these traumatic events on the witness stand was obviously painful. Jabari's attorney said in a statement to CNN on Monday, we are grateful to the jurors and the judge for their attention and patience and to the Manhattan District Attorney Office for their hard work. Another thing, another thing, if she was the aggressor, why didn't you set use self-defense? I didn't hear I didn't hear the word self-defense not one time because obviously this was what happened in the truck was self-defense. I'm not talking about what happened before. I'm going to come back and talk about that, okay? Until his legal trials, Majors has starred in a number of high-profile film roles with more slated for production. He appeared in King and Marvel film, Ant-Man and the Wops, which released back in fair. He also appeared in the Disney series Loki, which aired a uh, second season in October. Avengers, the Kang Dynasty was to release in 2020, would have served as star and vehicle for Major. He was also set to star in Another film centered around his Marvel character, Avengers Secret War Slave for 2027. With Major's career uh, tra trajectory already paused due to the trial, his professional future is now in question. The actor could face up to a year in prison for the assault conviction. He also faces a maximum of 15 days in jail and 250 fine for their harassment violation. His sentence is scheduled for February 6th next year. Um... Again, I'm just I'm just a little bit confused because based on the video that we saw, I don't understand how they're charging him for assault in the van when he was literally trying to get the woman off of him and in the van, back in the van. But again, thank God, thank God that he was acquitted of of three, four charges, right? Three or four charges. So thank God for that. But these other two, he should fight and hopefully the judge will throw it out because based on the video that we saw, she was the aggressor. She was the aggressor and he was defending himself. And we have the right in this country to defend ourselves. Now, this has nothing to do with him being an abuser. I'm going to come back and talk about that because from the text messages, ma'am, sir, you are an abuser. Now I'm going to overlook the van situation, the truck, because in my mind, you're defending yourself. She was the aggressor. We saw her running from you. We see you trying to put her in the van and you would like to get off of me and you running and she running after you. She was the aggressor and you was the victim in this instance. But based on the text message, use an abuser, man, sir. Use an abuser. And um, I don't know. His career is in jeopardy. Is, but I'm going to come back and talk about that, okay? I absolutely love you. Let me know what you think about the jury. Do you understand what I mean about I'm kind of confused? Based on the video we saw, she was the aggressor. So if he's putting her back in the truck and she got hurt in the meantime of him putting her back in the truck, to me, that's not an assault. You're trying to get somebody off of you. It's like these dumb, dumb black mamas who their dusty, broke criminal sons breaking somebody's house and got shot and now you want to sue the man. Did y'all see that? Girl, this man broke in somebody's house and the man shot him and the mama is suing the man. That couldn't have been coming into my courthouse. I would have laughed her to scorn and tell her, get out of my courtroom. Ugh. Anyways, I got to go, girl. I got to go. Okay. It's Christmas. Christmas. Okay. Christmas. Y'all know I love Christmas. Anyways, love you. Let me know what you think. And, and tell me if you understand what I am saying about the verdict. Love you. Mwah. Bye.